Hi everyone, welcome to this week's video. This week's video. This week I um, it is a redo of a pot that I did a couple of weeks ago. It was something that I was doing for a friend as an example that didn't turn out well. So I gave it another another go. Um, and this one is better but still not where I would like it to be. Um, so this is the finished pot. Um, it's a glass, a glass vase, these, and um, yeah, so it's pretty cool, but not quite there yet. Not sure if I'll do it again, but we'll see. Had some really good finds at the. Um, <coughs> Hospice and Salvation Army shops this week. Cute little vase, only three dollars. Um, someone has painted them, so I'm going to give them another go. And I do have an idea in mind for these. This one was only five dollars, and this was these were both at Salvation Army. This one have already started this planter. This was at the hospice and was twenty dollars. Now I don't normally spend that much on pots but I am in desperate needs of pots for my plants so I really needed to um, spend that money rather than going and buying a new um, and this one is another one that I picked up it's an old terrain terrain maybe not maybe that's the wrong word um, that I have started as well this one I am going to possibly also cover in clay and do a stamp design like I have seen on some of them in Pottery Barn. Yeah, so I'm really looking forward to um, getting getting into it. And this is also another one that I've done just recently. It was a black pot that I have given the rust effect to so um there'll be a video of that coming up shortly but anyway i hope you enjoyed today's video and you get something out of it there is quite a few layers of paint on it and different products used um yeah Alrighty, let's get started so here you'll see on the left is the glass vase that i started with and I have just sprayed it black. Um, can't remember what paint I used. By the look of it, it was just a cheap gloss black. Um, yeah, so here I'm going in with the turquoise color, um, the teal, and just gave it a base layer. I did actually do a round of gold, but I haven't bothered showing that because um, it's under now, now underneath that white paint, which is kind of just poured on quite thickly. I didn't wash, want any brush marks. So it took a couple of days to dry, but now I am just sanding it and going in with a very light teal. Um, this is the base for the final um, product there will be other color on top of it but this will be the base for it which will show through so the edge of the the area that you can see the teal the light teal is where there's going to be a slight rim so that's what I'm doing now is I've just in the original it was flat but I'm just going in here with um, this is just air dried clay I wanted it to be have a bit of difference and so it's kind of like a liner piping that um, goes round the edge of the lighter the lighter teal so as I normally do with air dried clay when I'm putting it on something um, I put glue down first to make sure it does adhere so I'm doing this on both sections of the top and the bottom of the um, the lighter teal and just 
um, like I did with the vase last week, just pulling it out and making it blend in with the surface below. It will mean another coat of paint, <laughs> two coats of paint, um, but it's going to give that raised effect that I want um, because I really did struggle finding a product, a gold product, to give that kind of raised effect. Um, I did find something in the end that I didn't even have to buy, I had it in my studio, but I'll tell you about that when I get to it. fingernails are shocking <laughs> anyway back to the pot so above that um, piping line and the same goes for the bottom is a darker um, green uh, I know that it probably doesn't look it because for some reason my camera does not do well with these colors it makes them much lighter than they actually are the top is quite a dark green. So now on with that next layer of paint, you can see, perhaps you can see, I'm not sure, <laughs> that it does actually look green, not um, a teal. There's, um, I will put a photo of all the paints that I've used, um, but it is generally, I think it's phalo green that I'm using, and I'm actually putting a bit of black in with that. And the teal is, I think there might even be phthalo green as well with white mixed into it. So now with that done, I'm gonna go <coughs> forward and onto the next step. So now you can see, if I stop moving the camera, how I've got that little bit of a lip in there. Right, so now this is where I would, the product that I had, was searching high and low for. Um, I tried mixing gold into this, but it didn't, it, it didn't like it mainly because I'm using a gel a nail gel extender thickener hardener a, I don't know whatever it's called um, so I did actually have to go on afterwards and um, put the powder the powder on um, it um, and I had to dry it under a view a, a UV light as well, so it was quite an untangled process. <laughs> but anyway, you live and learn. So here it is all dried, and um. I am just going in with the um, just a gold um, it's just a powder I brought online <laughs> nothing expensive um, yeah it just was gonna create what I wanted it to create and I think I did that but it has pretty sure I did have to go through and um, touch up the paint underneath the lip as well. I wanted it to have an organic organic feel like it was molten um, a molten metal not just something that I'd piped on so I was quite happy with the way that it had turned out. So this is what I could have used instead so what doesn't it looks like a really light bronze in there um, it's actually the gold powder um, mixed into a quite a th um, heavy duty impasto 
because I wanted those little bits to be raised and to the um, underneath bits to catch the gold powder when I rubbed it in but you'll see what I mean when it's actually um, dry I'm not explaining it very well <laughs> you can see how the that the bottom there looks teal now it's not that teal at all it's quite a dark sections of it are quite a dark um, green and you can see that the teal the light teal is actually coming through quite nicely and it looks like what's that verdigris or ver, ver, verigris that v word so now i'm just going over top of that um, um, and pesto you can see that it's dried and it actually does look quite um, metallic so now I'm just blending in the um, the top layer of the teal and I think actually quite a bit um, comes off <coughs> showing letting the gold um, and pesto show through as well as the the base layer of the teal um, just it's more of just a, um, a touch on the top layer trying to push it down into those cracks I guess I guess well I, I know <laughs> so now I'm just going in with a little bit of terps on my brush and rag just taking the excess teal off the the gold rim lip which is why I wanted a gold product to um, to start with I didn't want the clear because I knew that this would be an issue but oh well you live and learn next time I know to use the um, pesto mixed with the, <coughs> the metallic powder this product that I'm wiping on here is called KBS Diamond Coating. I think I've mentioned it in my videos before. I really enjoy using it. Um, this one I only gave one layer, but that was a time factor. I think if I gave it two layers, it would give it a more depth of a varnish, which would look better. But uh, yeah, I still think it's come up quite coolly. It looks like there's hunks of gold on there so yeah I'm really quite happy with how it turned out there are things if I was going to do it differently I'd do it again I would do them a lot differently but um, yeah you live and learn with these things thanks for watching